The Acara G4 video doorbell is now available here in the States. It is the first battery-powered HomeKit Secure video camera available. Let's unbox it, see the feature breakdown, and I'm gonna compare it to the Logitech Circle View HomeKit Secure video doorbell that I've been using for almost the past year. Now this new Acara G4 is actually the most affordable HomeKit Secure video doorbell that you can get. This one costs about $120, where the Logitech Circle View is $200 and the Wemo HSV camera is $250. So this is definitely the most economical option. It includes the chime, which is really nice. And it's HomeKit Secure Video. It's one of your three choices if you want a HomeKit Secure Video camera on your house. Now this should use your HomePods as chimes, but the Acara G4 also comes with a chime and that will also make a sound. It is 1080p, which HomeKit Secure Video only supports up to 1080p, but you can record to an SD card, which is nice. All right, opening the box here, this is the actual camera. It's got the HomeKit pairing code on the bottom, so we'll add it via HomeKit in just a second. And here on the front, really big doorbell button. That's really nice. Sometimes people get confused with the Circle View doorbell, like where to ring it. Love that this just has a really large button. All right, then in this second box, we have a charging cable. Actually included a little Phillips screwdriver. Oh, that's pretty cool. Mounting screws to put it outside your house in the box. This appears to be one of the slanted plates. The Circle View comes with this, as well as the Wemo. So if you wanna have it on an angle, you can put the doorbell camera on this and then mount this to the wall. And now you have an angled doorbell camera rather than just flat against the house. So here is the chime and also has a micro SD card slot there. So apparently to open the back, you actually need to unscrew something under this little flap. All the batteries are in. I'll put the back cover on. And while many Acara devices require a hub, this one is Wi-Fi based. You do not need a hub in order to install this or use it with HomeKit Secure Video. And like I said, it's battery powered, or if you do wanna hardwire it and never think about batteries with this doorbell, you also have that option, which is pretty cool. Now it is powered by six AA batteries. I kinda wish it was rechargeable. It'd be nice to have a little USB-C port on the back of this camera and recharge it. Acara says the batteries will last up to four months depending on how often it is used but I might have to do a follow-up to see how long those actually last. You can see the percentage of the battery in the home app, so you'll know when to replace them. So while you don't need an Acara hub to use the Acara G4 video doorbell with HomeKit Secure Video, the Chime actually acts as the hub. That's one of the reasons why it has the same pairing code. So this has to be constantly connected to power in order for the Acara G4 to be used. I thought this was like rechargeable and you could put this anywhere in your house. Not the case. This has to be plugged into constant power in order for the Acara G4 video doorbell to work. I kind of wish this had an outlet plug on the back, kind of like the Arlo video doorbell chime, but this is just USB-C. You have to have this plugged in somewhere in order for the camera to work. Scanning the code, I was able to set up the Acara G4 doorbell in the home app without ever opening or touching the Acara app. Everything works seamlessly. It's actually the same pairing code for both the video doorbell and the chime. So you scan one of those codes and they both get added as kind of a combo device in the home app. And then the setup in the home app is like any other HomeKit Secure Video doorbell. You can choose to use your HomePods as chimes. You can set activity zones directly in the home app, stream and record settings per user, and all the settings you're used to. I'm actually gonna ring the doorbell and see what happens. Oh, that chime actually went pretty quick. Now, as it rang, I did get a notification. I was in a focus mode, so it didn't show up as a banner, but there it is. Akara says they are gonna update this with Matter in the future. Without a built-in thread radio, I'm not sure how they're gonna do that unless it's through the Akara M2 hub, but I'll update everyone on the battery life and on the Matter status once that releases. All right, so I've brought the Akara G4 video doorbell out here in a precarious setup to test it right alongside the Logitech Circle View doorbell camera. Now, I have not touched the Akara app yet, totally set it up in the home app. Video seems to be working, doorbell, HomePod chimes, and I've even heard reports as I was testing it in the office that it was coming up on the Apple TVs around the house. But now that it's set up, let's go inside and test it to see what it looks like. So when someone rings the Acara G4 doorbell, it does show up on the Apple TV and ring the HomePods, just like my Logitech Circle View. The image is definitely different. I didn't realize this until I saw the image on the Apple TV, but the Acara video is actually widescreen, 16 by nine, as opposed to the Circle View, which is more vertical or nine by 16. Now we might not get some of the packages that are left at a doorstep or down at the bottom of the door, but at the moment, I don't really see packages that are left at the very bottom of the door with my current one. So this Acara G4 widescreen video, I actually like it. I prefer that wider view. It'll actually see more of the front of the house and driveway. So it looks really good. It did do facial recognition on my son, Asher. So that's good to see. 
On my iPhone, when I expanded the notification that someone rang the doorbell, it did give me the live preview and you have the ability to talk back just like on the circle view. Now I'm actually gonna go to the Akara app because I haven't done this since setting up the doorbell. It sees that a HomeKit accessory was added, so let's bind it to the Akara app as well. Loading the video doorbell in the Akara app, you can get the video feed right here. And again, the video looks pretty good. This is the smooth setting. You can also go all the way up to 1080p and force that resolution. Again, it won't be as smooth, but you can get the full res. If I hit the three dots here in the Akara app, I do get a lot more options for the doorbell camera here than I do in HomeKit. You do get a choice of ringtone, which is nice. Ooh. I'm gonna go with ringtone too there. You can also add your own custom ringtone to the Akara Chime, that's pretty cool. Akara also has a bunch of AI features that are on board that work with the Akara app and there's more settings in there, but I'm gonna be using this strictly with HomeKit Secure Video, but you can check out those features on Akara's website. Unfortunately, it didn't record any night shots last night as I tested it with the circle view. My circle view did get a mosquito, which is not really that useful, but apparently there was not enough motion to get recordings on the G4. I did watch it live last night and I will say the night vision is pretty on par with the circle view. Again, you have that wider screen video as opposed to vertical. And so if that's your preference, that might be a benefit to you. But I did tune in live last night a couple times and the night mode on the G4 is on par with the circle view camera. So is the G4 right for you? Being the first battery powered HomeKit secure video doorbell camera, it's great that this is an option. At $120, it's the most economical option for a HomeKit secure video doorbell. I actually like the design. It is pretty utilitarian, very square, blocky, but I actually really like that very large doorbell button. There's no confusion as to what button you're supposed to push to ring this doorbell. And I've had confusion with the Circle View doorbell. And if you don't have hard wiring to your front door or somewhere else on your house and you want a HomeKit secure video doorbell camera, well, this is your only option. There's no other video doorbell that is battery powered that works with HomeKit secure video. Now that this is possible, I imagine you'll have other options, but again, $120, it's the most inexpensive option you can get. You don't need the Acara Hub. I found connectivity and Wi-Fi to be pretty solid. I did feel a little weird on the Apple TV, not playing as smoothly as the Logitech Circle View, but I think this is a solid option. So it really comes down to personal preference. Do you like this design and you need something battery powered? Do you like the design of the Circle View? Which again, I've had for almost a year. I really like how that performs. It served me well, but I love that this is an option and you can hardwire it also which is a big deal. Let me know what questions you have in the comments about the new Akara G4. You can get it on Amazon in the US right now. Again, it's $120. It's a great value. And if you'd like to see all the other HomeKit devices I have around here, check out my full home tour at the link above or in the video description. I show you over a hundred Apple home devices that I have set up. And I think I'm gonna find a way to set this one up in addition to my circle view because I do really like it. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video.